What's going on guys, JSGC here and we're here for another Manchester City transfer update, rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates throughout all of the summer 2020 transfer window. So if you want to stay in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news and I'm expecting things to really, really pick up momentum over the next week or so, if you want to stay up to date with the latest news, make sure you subscribe, press that red button, it is free, and press the bell to put your push notifications on to be notified immediately when I do upload so you can stay in the loop ASAP. Amy for 13,000 subscribers we're less than 40 subscribers away i'm hoping we can hit that tonight so if you want to be a legend and if you haven't already then subscribe don't forget also social media links in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video aiming for 500 likes again so any help towards that will be much appreciated and don't forget also most importantly let me know your thoughts in the comments below as i'm always interested in what you do have to say so without further ado we're going to crack on with this video we're going to start off with the outs we've got an update on nicholas otamendi now Correa de manha a source in portugal not the most reliable, I will add, but uh, they're saying that Nicolas Otamendi is closing in on joining FC Porto. Uh, of course, Otamendi didn't feature in the Carabao Cup just yesterday. He had some niggles, so he didn't play in that game. Um, basically, he's on his way out of Manchester City. And by the time October 5th hits, transfer deadline day, I'll be very surprised if Otamendi is still at Manchester City. FC Porto want to sign him. It's been reported in Portugal that they want to loan him. Uh, they want him to pay half of his wage. So they want City to pay the other half. It's believed he's on 7 million euros per season. So they want to pay half of that. A uh, crazy decision to loan Nicolas Otamendi, considering there's lots of interest out there. Lazio and Inter Milan have apparently prepared proposal to put forward to Manchester City, and it was being um, suggested or inferred that um, it was going to be a permanent transfer. So if there are offers of a permanent transfer there, surely City aren't that bad in the transfer market that we're going to turn down a guaranteed cash uh, for Otamendi to leave to actually loan him. Are they? Who knows? Manchester City without going. We've seen what happened with Angelino. Anything can happen. City are very sentimental when it comes to their players and selling them and giving them what they want. Uh, and they do what's best for the player rather than what's best for business. And uh, yeah, there we go. I'm hoping it'll be a permanent transfer. Not got a problem if it is a loan, by the way. As long as there's an obligation to make that transfer permanent and not an option. Obligation means that it has to be made permanent. And so Nicolas Otamendi will no longer be a Manchester City player. I think he's got two seasons left on his contract uh, at the Etihad Stadium as well. So we'll see what happens with that. So we're going to move on to the next story. Eric Garcia got an update on him. Now Fabrizio Romano, domino effect this, has been reporting that Everton want to sign a Todibo. I've never heard of him, apparently plays for Barcelona. Barcelona won 18 million euros for him, and if he's sold to Everton, they want to use that 18 million euros to put forward to try and sign Eric Garcia. They're closing in Barcelona on signing a desk from Ajax. It's believed once they've brought him in, and that could come this weekend, they want to turn all their attentions to signing a centre-back, and Eric Garcia is the player that they are looking at. Problem, though, they've got with this transfer with Todibo going to Everton is Everton want uh, a loan with an option to buy, not even an obligation to buy, an option to buy. Barcelona, though, they want cold, hard cash. They want the money there to be able to sign Eric Garcia. Uh, Manchester City, of course, uh, need to sell a defender before we can bring a defender in. Will that be Eric Garcia? Will it be Nicolas Otamendi? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'd be surprised if um, one of them doesn't leave. Um, maybe both of them may even leave before the end of the window. What does that mean for Adara Bayo? What does that mean for Harwood Bellis? I don't know. I do not know. Anyway, we're going to move on to a crazy rumour that's been going round, but it needs addressing. Alexander Zinchenko. Now, Gianluigi uh, Longari, a journalist in Italy, has been saying that Barcelona want to sign Alexander Zinchenko on a season-long loan. No idea where this has come about seems like an odd transfer might it be true more than likely not okay Alexander Zinchenko at this moment in time is uh, injured City the squad looks a bit depleted so it wouldn't make sense for us to sell too many players and considering a couple of players have been linked with the exit door wouldn't make sense for us to sell a third would it Oh, God. Right, anyway, uh, next up, there, Jamie Bino Gittins, Dortmund. They've announced his signing. It is official. He is a Borussia Dortmund player. So best of luck to Jamie on his move. Manchester City will get compensation for that deal. Uh, 16 years old, he's an attacking winger. 
a good prospect. We'll keep an eye on his development. Very similar to the Jaden Sancho transfer. He's wanting to turn professional, turn down a contract with Manchester City, so he leaves instead. Not too sure how much compensation City will get as of yet, but when we get uh, word of a figure, I will bring that to you. Now, the last story in the outcomes in the form of Joel Latabodia. Uh, Football Insider have been reporting that Bournemouth are leading the chase to sign Latabodia on loan. Uh, it's been reported, though, that Swansea are also interested as well. So a decent move, it seems, on the cards for him to the championship. Now, moving on to the Ains, we've got a big update with Jules Koundé. Had a very impressive performance yesterday in the European Super Cup for Sevilla. It's believed Manchester City now are going to step up their interest in him now that that Super Cup is over with because he wanted to really play in that game. Sky Sports News have been reporting Manchester City now are in talks with Kunde and Sevilla for the signing to happen. It's the first official sign of a move of Manchester City making their move for Jules Koundé. Uh, Fabrizio Romano is saying that Manchester City, now that the Super Cup is over, keep an eye on developments. They're expecting Manchester City to make their move. That move could even come tonight. If that move does come tonight, stay tuned to my Twitter. I'll be retweeting sources and tweeting all about it. I'm expecting City, to, though, to be stepping up their interest over the next two or three days, trying to get a deal sorted so they can have an agreement in place and get that transfer transfer done by next week. They need that signing done by next week. Transfer deadline day closing in October 5th. We haven't got long, so I'm expecting Manchester City from now until deadline day to be very busy and a transfer as big as what it would be for Kunde, uh, it's going to take some time. So City's surely going to be working really hard right now to get that sorted. So any developments, I'll keep you in the loop every step of the way. Now, next story, Diego Carlos, Sky Sports have been saying that uh, he is not a target. So N-O-T, he is not a target that Manchester City are considering this summer. Um, it also added in this story that Jose Jimenez is too expensive for Manchester City to sign this summer and we've been prized away from him. Our attention turns to Kunde. The only other alternative remains Kalidou Koulibaly. The latest on that is that Manchester City is showing more interest in Kunde. Should that Kunde transfer become more expensive than the Koulibaly transfer, City then have a question. Do they pay the money to Napoli for Koulibaly or do they go for Kunde? We're still waiting on a figure. I'm hoping by tomorrow's video I can bring you an update on a bid going in for Manchester City uh, and then we've got a rough idea on figures. I'm expecting though for it to be around 60 to 65 million euros for Manchester City's next bid for Jules Kunde of Severe. Things warming up. You want to stay in the loop with the latest Manchester City transfer news, then make sure you subscribe, press that red button, press the bell, put your push notifications on to be notified immediately when I do upload. I can keep you up to date every step of the way, first and fast. Don't forget also, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, as it helps my channel to grow, and I also get to see that you are enjoying the videos, aiming for 500 likes. Any help towards that will be much appreciated. Social media links in the description below, and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my social media, so you can keep up to date with that latest on the Kunde deal. Don't forget also, uh, email in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. And most importantly, let me know your thoughts of these transfers in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say. And so I'll see you all again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer update. I've been JSGC. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope everyone is safe and well. Thank you for watching. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>